today we're working on grade 3 module 5 or fractions. Our page today is fractions on the number line input page. It looks like this. So we are going to use fraction strips which we just learned about in order to learn how to put fractions on a number line. Let's look at our sentence. We can use blank to place fractions on the number line. We can use fraction strips. Okay, we can use fraction strips to place fractions on the number line. And you can see my number line starts at zero and goes to one. And I've got my fraction strip set right on top of it so that it starts on zero and ends on one. It's broken into two pieces, so that means it's showing one half and one half. So I know I'm going to be putting halves on this number line because my fraction strip is in half. So you want to write that one half on there. I'm going to make a line on my number line where the pieces of the fraction strips are. Now I can label my line. So one half has passed right here. So one half, I've got one half right there. If I move over again, now I have two halves. One half, two halves. And I can label my one as two halves. I'm just going to do it right under the whole number one. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Hopefully with a, a couple more times, you'll get the hang of it. So this fraction strip is in four equal pieces, which means my unit fractions are one fourth. So I'm going to go ahead and label the fraction strips, strike fraction strip with one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. And I'll make my lines where the pieces of the fraction strips meet right there right there you can just extend the line down and now I'm ready to label from here to here is just one fourth so I label that one fourth if I go to the next piece now I have two fourths behind me the next piece I have three fourths behind me and the last piece I have four fourths behind me so that's what it looks like One more to practice together. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces here. So I'm gonna label my fraction strips with one eighth. One common thing I see kids do with fraction strips or other fraction models is that they will count up. So they'll say one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. I understand what's going on there, but it's gonna cause confusion down the road because we want to think of these uh, pieces, these parts as like Legos, that it needs to be able to stand on its own and still make sense. So if I broke this piece off and it said two eighths on it, but it's really only one eighth, that's gonna be confusing. So the only model that we use with fractions that actually counts up is the number line and that's actually that should be true with all numbers um, when if this was a whole number you would still if these were eights you would like um, eight not one eighth eight 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 you wouldn't want to count up because um, like I said if you broke a piece off it wouldn't make sense anymore so count up on the number line don't count up on your tape diagram or your number bonds or your equal groups Okay, I'm making my lines, and now I'm ready to count up. I start with 1 8, add one more, that's 2 8, add another one, 3 8, add one, 4 8, add one, 5 8, add one, 6 8, add one, 7 8, add one, 8 8. Okay, hopefully this is a good model for you and you understand what we're doing in moving from fraction strips, which you've used before, to number lines, which are new. It's time to tackle that output page. I'll see you next time.